<laughs> so as we're standing here, this MAM 72 42V, something that I immediately start thinking about is that I see these all over the place. I see this machine and I think pat, uh, the, the pallet change systems are something that help people run high mix, low volume, through the nights, through the weekends, make more money, reliability on precision so you don't have to stress about coming in on a Monday and then having a part that's not good even though we just called right. it automation. You have that reliability but I'm noticing two things you might want to go into detail about. One, yeah, what? the part difference, and two, there's Rock, a Cobalt. Cobalt, absolutely. So, right, so on the platform, the 35V, as you well know, so right, 30 plus years now in the market. So what we've done is we've stretched the size a little bit. So, so 35V denotes a 350 diameter workspace. We now have a 420 diameter workspace on the same platform, the same number of pallets, 32, same number of tools, 330 or 520. However, People have been saying to us, how about the sixth side dom? Okay, so we've been talking to Matsura's R&D department, Uto's team, and we've come up with a robot that replaces the man. So we now can do this unmanned, right? So we can machine the five faces on one vice, the sixth side on another vice. And this cobot is opening the door, opening the vice, turning the part over, taking the part off, putting it back on, all in lights out. First thing I noticed from that conversation is this has been in the market for 30 years. That's 30 already, already know it's a global leader. And it's been in the market longer than you've been alive, I think, which is really the significance of the machine. Really? On top of Maybe. that, when we think of six-sided machining, I've been in some machine shops where I got lost in a maze of blue machines because they had so many of them, and they improvised and started using a tabbing system so they could pop it off, little deburrs on the tabs themselves. But this even remedies that issue. Yeah, well, the, the one-hit machining and breaking the part off is something that we've been doing for a long time, right? Something we adopted, especially in the UK, in the aerospace industry. However, there is parts that do need six faces. If it's a block, you cannot get to the six side, right? So it's a prismatic five, you can snap it off. But like, we've just done a very simple demo, right? A dice, show six sides. So that could be a hydraulic part, it could be a, a, a a medical part, it could be a scientific part, anything that's six side prismatic. Not necessarily five axes, just six sides. Mm -hmm. This is a solution. When I think of a six sided part, and I think about the complications that can go into machining six different sides on the majority of machines out there, I think about how many mistakes, and you said medical where precision is so very important, I think about how many mistakes can potentially happen in the operation and the moving from machine to machine to machine. How significant do you think it is to be able to do all of the operations inside of one setup, one machine? Well, it gives you a better quality component. You know, if you look at like you just said, moving the part six times. One, cycle time. Two, moving of tolerances, right? So, so from a quality standpoint, every time you move a component, you stack up a tolerance because you've got the changeover, the fixture, the whatever. Doing six, six faces in one go is gonna be a better accuracy. Being able to turn over to the six side automated means that you can now do that six side on the same machine in an unmanned condition, right? So the way that we've geared the machine up here on the stand is that it's still the run, the mix, the one, the two, the five, but this is producing 100 components as a batch on two pallets, automated. That gives you now a closed loop. It's got everything. It's everything that people have been asking for. Out of a box. Yeah, you're exactly right. And I honestly was never fussed about the opportunity to have so many pallets inside the machine and manually load and unload them. But the fact that I can now have a cobot to make that six side or just do the automation in general. Last question I have, which is going to be the same question I ask you on the next machine in just a minute, you'll get to see that one, is you mentioned we can get bigger parts in here. We talked about having bigger parts in here, but it's the same footprint as well because across the U.S., I imagine with the U.K. being almost the size as the U.S., maybe real estate issues are kind of the same Absolutely. issue we Absolutely. have as well? Yeah, we, we call it ROI on footprint, right? That's what we call it in the UK. At the end of the day, floor space is at a premium. It doesn't matter what shop, you know, general subcontractors, job shops, floor space is a premium. So what we've done, it's the same footprint, slightly larger capacity, so we've obviously had the space within the machine to give you a 420 diameter instead of 350. The workpiece height is the same, the spindle's the same, the control's the same, everything's the same. So for those customers that are just wanting that slightly larger capacity than the 350 diameter, you've got the 42V. 
That makes sense to me. Let's go ahead and walk over to the other. I kind of want to take this and see how good you are at playing craps, Dom. I'm not very good at that game. Maybe, maybe later. Maybe right? later. 